sweater, what do you need? Skeins of yarn that you have in stock. So you don't need to buy anything, just go creative with your leftover yarns. I crochet this one with Lemmy Lacette first part on the crochet hook with a 10 millimeter size. The yarn recommends 6 to 7 millimeters, but I crochet it on a 10 millimeter crochet hook. So a big hook to give it a lazy effect from the beach cover up style. So let's get started. We'll start off directly with this yarn from the outside because it is uh, a textile yarn. Uh, I believe it is a cotton yarn. I did not look at it, but it is really soft and with the big hook it makes it the right style that I wanted to create for a beach cover up. So loosely and it fits directly on the shoulders. You will measure yourself around the hips, divide it by two and the front panels will be approximately five centimeters wider so two two and a half inch wider than the back panel so keep that in mind that way you get a little bit of waterfall effect on the front so when you measure yourself up then we get started with the foundation double crochet row instead of a chain row chain row makes your work shrink a bit and i don't want that so let's get started what to do? Put your hook underneath the yarn and twist it around clockwise like this. Hold on there and pick up the yarn and pull it through the loop. That is your first chain. Here it is. Tie it up so that way your stitch won't go anywhere anymore. So now we we'll start off with chaining three. This is the first chain the second chain and the third chain. Now we go wrapping around, we go back to the first chain we made. Not the knot here, but the chain after. That is your first chain. You stick the hook underneath two loops, like this. Here are two loops. Wrap around and pull through those two loops. Here, we've got three loops on the hook. Take it loosely, don't tie it too, too fast, too fast. Put the yarn around the hook and pull through one loop and then yarn around, pull through two loops, yarn around and pull through two loops. Now I've got two double crochet on top of each other. Here it is. Yarn around the third one. Go back to the first chain one you made. That's this one here. And you go underneath both loops. So not one but two loops that way you get a chain and the double crochet in one time so stick your hook underneath it here are the two loops yarn around and pull underneath those two loops leave it loosely don't crochet too tight here yarn around and pull through one loop hold that stitch yarn around pull through two loops yarn around and pull through two loops now i have my third double crochet on top of it one, two, three. Yarn around. Again, here is the, is the fiesta shaped stitch that you normally make when you make a chain. You put your hook underneath those two loops, one and number two. Here are they. Yarn around, pull through, hold that stitch loosely. Yarn around, pull through one loop, hold that stitch. Yarn around, pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Now I've got four double crochets on top of each other. Again, yarn around, twist your work a bit. Now you've got here, you have the chain you made. Stick your hook underneath those two loops, one and number two. Here it is. Yarn around and pull through one. Leave it loosely, yarn around. Pull through one, hold that stitch, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Now I've got five double crochets on top of each other. That way you make your foundation row. One, two, three, four, five. Keep on continuing in up to the size that you measured and we'll start off with the wearing. Well, I only made a swatch, so I made ten front uh, base double crochet rows. So let's get started on the second part. What I usually do is chain up one and make a double crochet in the first stitch. I'll show you. 
chain one here it is I turn my work and directly in the hole here I make my first stitch that way you won't get any gaps on the sides so here it is then I make my first half double crochet if you crochet along this side will be a nice etching I will show you what happens when you make a chain three so two more chains uh, one more chain sorry and then I need to start directly with my front post double crochets and what happens is I get a big gap here and I don't like that so this one here I already I always make it with a chain one I turn my work and I make directly my first half crochet in a half double crochet in the first stitch here so we start off with the first half double crochet and we end this row with a half double crochet now in the next stitch we start off with the ribbing this double crochet here we make the first we make a front post double crochet so yarn around put your hook between those two double crochets from the front to the back and from the back around that double crochet to the front yarn around keep the head of the crochet hook downwards and pull it behind it up to the front now yarn around and pull through two loops yarn around and pull through two loops now you have the first front post double crochet yarn around now we need a back post double crochet yarn around go from the back to the front around the double crochet back to the back and keep the head downwards from the crochet hook yarn around and pull it around the double crochet back to the, to the back yarn around pull through two yarn around and pull through two now I've got a first back post double crochet now a front post double crochet yarn around and put your hook around that double crochet you see here back to the front yarn around pull through the back to the front yarn around and pull through two yarn around and pull through two and again a back post so you go from the back yarn around first back up to the front around that double crochet here to the back pick up the yarn hook downwards facing and pull it up like this yarn around and pull through two yarn around and pull through two front post double crochet same story around that double crochet and pull it up the next stitch will be your back post double crochet here it is yarn around pull through two and pull through two front post and pull through two oh yes there it is and pull through two and a back post double crochet and then I'll end off with the last stitch and the last stitch will be a half double crochet so pull through and pull through that is the chain three we started the foundation double crochet row with you find your third stitch here and stick your hook underneath two loops that way you get a steady etching on the sides here it is two loops yarn around pull up yarn around and pull through three loops half double crochet done this is the first row and it looks like you have done two rows of front post back post double crochet but you only did one so back post front post back post front post and you end off with a half double crochet so this you will be repeating throughout the heights you wish for your ribbing and now we start off with the second part of the sweater so here it is the first half double crochet here on top of this one here is my front post double crochet it's really nice lining you see it the, the bar here on the back is the back post double crochet you made in the previous row so these ones are front those are the front post double crochets and these are the back post double crochets it has this little bar and you see it here in the previous row it was a front post so you do it the opposite way so here is the front post double crochet you make a front post there was a back post in the in the previous row just stick your hook behind it and pull through two and pull through two and now the next stitch is a back post double crochet there was a front post double crochet in the previous row so you make now a back post you see this bar here that makes difference between the front and the back post if you see this bar 
you have a back post double crochet. If you're not sure, just twist your work around and you see which side your double crochet is turning. Well, this row to be repeating, so back post, when you see a back post and a front post double crochet, when you see a front post double crochet, I'll finish this row with you together. Front post and a back post double crochet. A front post and a Here I have a back post double crochet. So every time you end off the row with a back post double crochet. How crazy it sounds, but it is. A back post double crochet. And now the chain one for the turning chain we made. There you put your half double crochet on top. So you've got this right now. Here's my turning chain. And that chain is the stitch where you put your hook underneath. So if you do a chain one and turn. This will be the stitch where you put your last stitch in. So underneath two loops. Oh, sometimes a bit stick stuck here. There it is. There you make your last half double crochet. So you start and end each row with a half double crochet, and in between you make a front post or a back post. You see the nice edging here? No gaps. I just love it. So you keep on continuing for how many rows you like. I did for the cozy sweater, the winter gar cardigan, winter sweater, I did seven rows. Now, first stitch here. Here it is. We make a double crochet throughout this row. That's the first row before you start with the repeating rows for the for the sweater up until the shoulder seams. The shoulder seams, what I mean with that is the seam where normally the, s the, 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 the seam from your sweaters from the stores are. So in the middle on top of the shoulder. So here is the next. Just on top of each front post or back post double crochet. Underneath two loops you make one double crochet throughout this row. Here's the next. And the next. I'm glad that I only made 10 stitches, otherwise it will take immense, Im I a lot of hours to, to, to make this tutorial for a really nice sweater, but you can make it so many different styles. Well, almost there. One before the last. Yeah. And in the chain one, then we made to turn the row to turn our work. In the chain one, you make the last double crochet on top of it, like this. Now you've got your first base row done, and we start off with uh, repeating rows up until the shoulder seams. So keep measuring up when you made a couple of rows and see how far you are. First stitch will be a normal double crochet underneath two loops. And the stitches between the first and the last will be a double crochet in the back loop only. So underneath one loop. Here's the first. And the second only in the back loops. Crochet it loosely. Sometimes you need to hold that stitch here. Because, because of the big hook you will pull up that loop as well. So don't worry about it too much. Because in the end of, uh, end of this uh, sweater... You won't see it anymore. It's just during crocheting you will pull up the loop a little bit. So here I am. Stitch before the last stitch. So here is my last stitch. That's the chain one for the turn turning chain. Down the two loops two loops I make my last double crochet. And here it is, my first last double crochet. So 10 stitches again. What do I do? I start off and end off with a double crochet underneath two loops. And in between I made a double crochet in the back loops only. Chain one and turn. First stitch again underneath two loops. Here it is. Hope you can see it. Yes. You make the first double crochet. And this rows to be repeated. So first double crochet underneath two loops. In my case, 8 double crochets in the back loops only. That's the first. And the second. 
sorry I'm if I'm a bit off camera the see I hold the stitch here the third and the fourth the fifth double crochet in the back loops only oh. sixth number seven and one before the last number eight and here it is and in the last stitch so the chain one you made to turn your work underneath two loops you make your last stitch of the double crochets chain one and turn well you will start seeing the ribbing starting so you will see the the little lines between them i'll do one more row with you together so first in the underneath two loops double crochet and the next eight i do in the back loops only double crochet in the back loop only here it is and the next so it is a very easy sweater to make but the yarn that you use makes makes the difference so if you use a normal wool yarn with a little sparkle yarn with it you get a totally different look if you use this lemmy lacet yarn you get more beach cover up please keep in mind that the recommended yarn size needle you need to use you can see it on the label from the skeins take two hook sizes up at least two hook sizes i hope to see you in the second part of this, this tutorial and i show you what to do next <laughs> <laughs>